there may be certain situations where you need to quickly determine if the contents of a file have been changed. So on your Synology NAS, built into file station is something called MD5 checksum. As you can see here, we have loaded file station using a standard user account. Now let's open the homework share on our NAS. Within this share, you can see that we have an RTF file called README. Let's highlight this file and then using the right mouse button, open a quick menu. From within the quick menu, let's select Properties. Now under the General tab, we need to locate the option MD5. When we select the Calculate button, we are given a long series of numbers and letters, which are often referred to as either a checksum or hash value. As our hash value will be unique, we can think of this hash value like a digital fingerprint for our file. Let's copy the hash value for the file and paste it into a text editor that we already have open. To demonstrate that the hash value for the file will not change if we simply move the file from one location to another, let's now copy and paste the readme file into a subfolder within the homework share. If we now highlight this instance of the readme file and open a quick menu, when we select properties and once again use the calculate button, we are given a hash value for this file. When we compare the hash value for this file with the hash value that we previously copied to our text editor, you can see that the hash values are both the same. This is because we have copied the file, but we have not changed the contents of the file. Let's now try and upload to our NAS this amended readme file. When prompted, we need to select Overwrite to replace the old readme file already stored in the subfolder of our homework share. If we once again highlight the readme file and open a quick menu, when we select Properties and generate a hash value for this file, if we now compare the different hash values, you can see that the amended readme file now has a different hash value to both the original and the copy of our readme file. Not only does this allow us to check to see if a third party has changed the contents of a file, we can also use MD5 to help determine the integrity of any data that is being moved from one location to another.